In the last video, we added the registration feature where users were able to create their own accounts. Now we need to add the ability for users to be able to update their information as well as update their own passwords. Luckily, Laravel Fortify makes this very easy. Let's get to it and implement these two features. Behind the scenes, I created this account settings page and right now the personal information and the password sections don't do anything at the moment. Uh, as you can see, the save button and update password buttons, they don't uh, do anything, it's just the UI. So we're going to be filling in the actions for the save and update password buttons. So let's go over the component quick. So on the account settings page, I have these two components here, profile info and password info. On the profile info, we pass the current user object and the password info just renders the current password and new password and confirm new password fields with the update password. So if we go inside, we see that um, I need to implement the update password uh, function here. This is what gets triggered when the update password is clicked. Same goes for the profile info. We need to implement the save uh, function here, which gets triggered when the save button is clicked. So in order to do this, let's switch over to the API side and enable the necessary routes. So we need the profile information route and also the passwords route. So let's copy those two. And they both need to be protected. So it needs to be within the auth sancta middleware. So I can put it right here on comment. Let's import the controllers and these routes only get registered if these features are enabled. So I need to enable these features within the Fortify config file. So if I open that here, we need to enable the update passwords feature and update profile information feature. Next, we can get rid of the middleware auth here because we're already within the Sancto middleware. So we could remove the named routes as well. And this looks good. So we need to make a put request to the update profile information to update the name and email. And we need to make a put request to the user password to update the password. So let's go over how each one of these works so that you have an idea how it happens behind the scenes. So if I open the profile information controller update method, we see that it uses update user profile information contract to update the user and then returns empty JSON response with a 200 uh, response code. This means that we could override this and implement our own implementation and change it within the Fortify service provider, which is right here. And it uses this update user profile information action that was published with the rest of the Fortify's resources when we installed Laravel Fortify. So if you have more fields, which I'm sure you will in your own application, you will probably have a bunch of other fields here. Maybe you will have some kind of custom logic. In that case, you will need to implement your own implementation and then replace it here with your own class. Just make sure that you implement that uh, contract. Same goes for the update user password. It uses this action here. And if you have any custom requirement when updating a password, you can create your own implementation and replace it here. So let's check out the update user profile information. So the first thing it does, it validates the name and email. Make sure that the no other user exists with the given email. If user is changing the email address and also the user model uh, implements the must verify uh, email contract, then it updates the name and email and also sets the email verified at to null and then sends the email verification notification. Otherwise, if the email is not being changed, then it just updates the name. So pretty straightforward. Let's close this out and let's go over the update user password. So here it validates the current password and then validates the new password. And this uses the same password rules as we went over with uh, when we were creating the registration feature. And then after the current password and the new password have been validated, then it actually checks to make sure that the current password is the correct password. And if it's not the correct password, it returns the error message. Otherwise, if everything is good, it updates the password. So pretty simple. So let's close that out and let's go ahead and implement these. So I'm gonna switch over to the SPA. On the profile info, we're gonna make the API put request to this endpoint we're going to pass the fields to it and on success we're just going to say profile info updated and if there is a validation error we can just uh, alert the user with the first error so let's do alert errors zero and this should work and let's go ahead and do the same thing on the password info 
but we're just going to change the endpoint and that is user password and we'll pass in the fields here as well password has been updated and otherwise we alert the user with the error so let's test this out so if i hit save on this it should give us profile info updated alert let's test that out and it worked now let's try to trigger an error and it gives us the correct uh, error message that the email is invalid and let's go ahead and change the email to something that already exists and that also works and let's change it to another email and change the name to this hit save and let's refresh the page and it worked let's now update the password so full bar and i'm going to enter a correct password but this is going to fail because it's invalid password it's going to fail the new password validation rule password needs to be at least eight characters so let's go ahead and add that but i'm going to set the wrong current password so that we get the correct error message and that works the provided passwords do not match your current password and let's make the new password and confirm password unmatch and we get the correct uh, error message as well and now if i hit update it should update the password correctly and that worked so as you see it was very simple to implement the password update and the personal information update functionality the only thing i really needed to do was uh, create this uh, front end side and just make the correct put request to the proper endpoints this is it for this video on the next video we will add the password reset functionality Thank you for watching, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.